Jam to Jam is to enable people to play music with each other who haven't had musical experience before and enables them to play in an ensemble um, situation, a live performance situation without very much musical knowledge. So it gives them all the experiences of playing in a band and all the benefits of playing in a, in a band uh, without having to have the uh, the years of musical training to play. From this project we're hoping to have better understandings about how people interact, how they engage with music making and how we can provide better musical experiences for people using computing technologies. Jam to Jam is made up of an interdisciplinary team of researchers. We've got people working on technologies, software development, community music making, we've got people working from the education sector and we've got interaction designers who are looking at how we develop the experience and how we people work with software and collaborate together. This version of the software has been targeted at, um, at kids. In a community arts setting, they only have a short period of time generally to, to use the software. So within that time, we want the kids to have fun, um, go through a number of processes where they're interacting with each other, and achieve a, a rewarding outcome. Once you've loaded the software, you can move shapes around, and the shapes change the sound and produce uh, different sounds the way you move them. So it's really abstract. All the knowledge of music theory is embedded within the tool. Then when the user feels a bit more confident, they can then take the next step and then join in a jam with someone else. They can then click on that person's name in the interface and uh, if they move a shape up, the shape they've moved goes up on the other computer and the sound changes. So they're sharing that jam. So it's like being in a band. They have to work together and how they work together affects their musical outcome. You can visually see the change in kids. When that happens, it takes it to a whole new level of interaction. What did you, what did you find today? What did you, what did you like about it? Um, that the music changed um, different ways. And uh, when you put the piano down and, um, let's say, the drums up, you yes. can hear um, them combining together. It was interesting how you learned that there was complex, there was loud, there was busy and there was low. I found it cool that you could play on two. You could play do two together? Yeah. yeah you like that? Yeah. What do you think about it? four of you could do it? I think that'd be even cooler. That'd be even cooler? We kept fighting over the same instruments. Yeah. I wanted to take the both guitars. Yeah. He wouldn't let me, so he kept and so when we kept moving each other's instruments, like when he moved my instrument, I moved on his. Important yeah. to me communicate and you get, you feel like you're really playing the instruments and you're like running all over the stage playing different instruments. Oh, cool. This is where I'm very interested in, in the Jam to Jam application because it actually does some of the work for people that they might have traditionally had to do to be included in the arts. And I think our own society is on its way to understanding that creative work isn't just to be shoved away in the field of the arts for those types, but something more generally useful and important. This tool actually provides this in a way that other programs don't. And our experience so far with people from the community arts, from, from local councils, uh, from state government, arts agencies and so on, is that there's a great deal of interest in the almost unique potential of this tool in that respect. We're interested in um, how people are collaborative together and how we can support creativity. So this project is about creativity support tools and the ways in which they do support musical engagement and meaningful musical experiences.